They had already seen shows of For many months now, they had to show no favoritism. But they had never yet watched a child's agony minute by minute. They had now been doing it in favor. Needless to say, the pain inflicted on these innocent victims had always seemed to them to be what the fact was, an abomination. But hitherto they had felt an abomination in, so to speak, an abstract way. They had never had to witness over so long a period the death throes of an innocent child. And just then the boy had a sudden spasm, as if something had taken him in his stomach. In a small face, rigid as a mask of grayish clay, slowly the lips parted, and from them rose a long, incessant scream hardly varying with his respiration, and filling the ward with a fierce, indignant protest, so little childish, it would seem like a collective voice issuing from all the Sat on a park bench, crucifix in his hands. Top few buttons on his shirt, torn undone, yet feet made of clay. As the cross fell between his knees Silently he lifted his gaze So looking for something So looking for someone Can't even picture in dreams Who wait a lifetime to meet It's a wager Believing in nothing